Hello and welcome to Heavy Metal Rex. My name is Wace, and as you can see behind me and from the thumbnail, we're doing some cosmetic modifications today. Now, for the longest time, I haven't really had a whole lot of cosmetics on the car, and for the most part, my older cars, I usually wouldn't spend the money on it uh, because I knew that most of my money had to go into the performance aspect of it. And that stuff, as you know, it's not very cheap. So finally, I've decided that the <laughs> we're getting close to the end of what I can do realistically on the performance side, uh, short of buying a turbo kit or an upgraded turbo, which may still happen in due time. Um, even though the car isn't exactly where we want it tune-wise, it will be very soon. So I figured maybe now's the time I can kind of put a pause on the rest of the performance stuff and focus a little bit on what the, car, the way the car looks. Now, if you've seen a couple of my videos from a month or two ago, I, d I decided to paint my own lip and paint my own side skirts. So that's actually the Aeroflow Dynamics lip that's on the car right now. And what I picked up uh, to replace it, and for reasons I will explain in a little bit, is the Noble paint matched. Actually, I let them paint it for me. I, I didn't paint it this time. I felt like my paint job was um, less than stellar. And uh, I'll show you some close-ups of exactly the differences between two, these two lips. And there's a couple other reasons why as well. Um, I did end up buying a, the silvers, coilovers from Noble as well, that'll be here maybe next week or the week after, because the car is getting lowered. And a big issue that I've had with the car is this lip uh, looks cool, but I didn't have the discipline to keep it safe. Uh, and that is an understatement because it looks beat to hell. Um, what I ended up picking up as well is rear spats and a crystal black silica uh, front grill. This is the deep dish one. I know that a couple, I think like a week ago, or two weeks ago, I had mentioned how I want one, but I didn't want the carbon fiber one. And I, me personally, I'm not a fan of the sports grill. I think the holes are too small. It just doesn't, it, compared to what this, what the OEM one is, I don't like it. So I was like, if I get one, I'm gonna get the deep dish one. Finally, this one came in, it looks really good. I love that it has, you know, it's the, it's the crystal black silica paint, which it has like the little um, gold flakes within it. So it's very classy looking. And I think on the white, it's gonna really pop. So. Um, this installation of this stuff is fairly straightforward. I do want to show you guys a couple of things on the side skirts that I have because those were eBay side skirts, which I did paint at home, that I'm not replacing. I'm keeping that for now. Um, and there's, there are differences between these two lips. I mean, even if you don't go with the Noble one, it's, there, there's still differences that you need to be aware of and you need to decide which lip is good for you. I think for me, this is going to be the better lip lowering the car, which means the loop will kind of go up. I'll have more space uh, to drive and uh, less scraping because like I mentioned before, driving to my office, I have, a I have a pretty steep ramp and I scrape every time, no matter how I drive because there's the, the road is so narrow that I can't go in at any good angle. And uh, it's just, it's not good for the lip. So ignore for a second how dirty it is. This is some of the damage that I have done. I actually, I, you know what? I'm gonna put the actual video clip of me breaking this lip in this video because people have been asking for it. Um, this I'll just show you. I actually ended up trying to um, glue it. <laughs> it, did, it didn't really last very long and I got some uh, Gorilla glue or a Gorilla tape down below just to hold on to it because I knew I was going to eventually replace this. Um, this was a gloss black and I sanded this and painted it myself. The other side is a little bit less visible, but this entire chunk actually came off. And I was able to glue this, and it's been pretty good, but like, part of it is still taped, and it's, yeah, this side right here, it's still gonna move and come off. So th there's no way for me to really keep this in one piece anymore. And here's some of my painting. What I ended up doing was, I painted all of this, and all of what you're seeing is the, these black spots, these are rock chips. And I guess, if you're gonna do this at home, I would suggest multiple more coats of clear coat. Now, all of the painting cost me about 60 to $80, which wasn't too bad, but if you're not gonna do it right, you're gonna have a lot of problems. Now, here's another thing about this that it's gonna be interesting, because I'm looking forward to seeing how much better this other lip is, because this is a pretty big lip. You can see it's a, it's a, it's a low lip, and it commands a lot of space, and what ends up happening is I think because of some of the spirited driving we do, because it's held on by self-tapping screws, it, the screws tend to just 
unscrew themselves. Let me show get you, let me show you a little closer. I'm not sure how well you can see, but this is the space between the this is the bumper and this is the actual lip. So you can see there's plenty of space. Try to focus this a little bit more. So you can see there's plenty of space here. This is I can actually put my whole finger in here. And I don't know if this is because of the self-tapping, like this screw is pretty much out. Um, I don't know how much better the other lip is gonna be because there are some self-tapping screws that do need to go in, but I think some of them are also held on by pop clips. Um, this, pretty much, I would have to adjust this, I'd say every, well, probably every week. Because some of the screws stay in, some of them don't. There's really not much you can do about that. Um, I would suggest, I guess, if you do end up putting this lip on in the future, maybe some double-sided tape would also help right around there. And I think the Noble one comes with it. I'm not 100% sure. I have double-sided tape. Even if it doesn't, this time I'm putting that on because this kind of messes up the look. You know, you get to a car meet and your lip is like half hanging off. Now, I do want to say, I think it is important to mention that um, without sponsors and without people that help this channel, it would be difficult for me to do the things that I want to do. Um, Aeroflow Dynamics was nice enough to send this lip out to me. And to be honest, when I first got it, I thought it was really cool. It, made it, it didn't really make the car look like a race car. Now, as I went through with doing what it is I was doing, in this case, the paint matching, the, <laughs> the issue that I ran into was the fact that it, because it's a three-piece, it does make it harder to, <laughs> to make the car look seamless. I mean, there's, there's not no fault of their own. There's no way to do this. But at the same time, shipping on this is probably going to be cheaper than shipping on the one-piece because the one-piece has come in that giant box, whereas this can come in a really tiny box, which is, that's what it did. I think at the end of the day, it really depends on what it is you want to do with the car. Um, you know, I think that that's the biggest decision you have to make is planning and buying the right parts at the right time. Now, Import Image Racing has done a fantastic job with sending me parts like super quick, always having what I want, and just overall, as you guys already know, fantastic customer service. So if you're ever looking for anything to buy and, and you don't know where to buy it from, I'd start with Import Image Racing. Something you don't want to forget is unplugging your um, fog lights. All right, so this is the back of the bumper. The grill is actually connected by a series of Phillips screws. Now we did get a lot of hardware to install the new grill as well. And if, for those who want to, and I'm still not 100% sure if I'm going to, you do get an emblem uh, you can put the emblem, Subaru emblem, back on if you want, or if you want to put like uh, one of those colored ones, like blue, yellow, whatever, <laughs> maybe not yellow. I was trying to decide if I wanted to put the white one, but I'm still not sure. I kind of like the idea of, of it having nothing. This one seems to be in there a little tight, so we got to... Do a little bit of hand cranking. So it looks like you got three screws on each side and it's got clips here that need to be popped out. How do, how do clip popping? Now, clips on the bottom, push the clip up. No real popping, it just comes right out. Sorry, my mic was too close to my shirt. I think it may have added some extra noise, so I apologize. Just like that, grill is out. Here's the new grill. Align it with the holes. They give you plenty, 
plenty of screws. And so basically what you're going to do is instead of now having those, um, instead of now having the clips, in the place of the clips, now go these screws. Now, if you do want to put the bracket on for the, for the grill, it does come with the piece that goes in the front. Just align it wherever you want. Put this guy over here, and they do have some screws for you to put those on if you choose. I am going to elect to not do that. I think I like the way it is without the emblem. So I'll hold on to the emblem for now, unless later on I get like uh, one of those, a black, like a black and white one. So let me turn this around and show you guys what it looks like. That does look really good. I like the way that looks. This is what I wanted. I wanted a nice solid black to contrast with the front of the car. I think it looks really good. All right, cool. So now that that's done, we're going to move on to putting the front lip. I think I do have to put the bumper back on to do that. There are some differences here. Uh, a lot of the holes that are required for this skirt or this lip um, come from the factory, so we shouldn't really have to do a whole lot of drilling, but I think the ones where you do have to drill, it lines up perfectly underneath the car. So let me get the bumper back on and we'll get started on that. Something to note, as I was putting the bumper back on, I realized it wasn't going on as smooth. It looks like this piece actually needs to come off because the grill is pushing up against it and it's keeping me from being able to put the bumper on properly. All right, so I got the car in jack stains because I want a little bit more room when I do the front lip. I wanted to show you guys this. I didn't notice this. Without the radiator shroud in the back, it looks very plain and, to be honest, a little ugly. So I have to make a decision now. Am I going to get the radiator brace or am I going to get hella horns? Now, I don't like hella horns. I don't like the way they look. So that only leaves me with the option to have the radiator brace probably. I'm actually trying to brainstorm what else I can put back there. Um, I don't want to put the, the emblem, also because I don't feel like taking, <laughs> taking the bumper off again. But I don't want to put the emblem, but I, I got to figure out what I'm going to put back there. All right, the way that I see it here is there's four areas where pop clips are actually going to go in. This, is, this actually lines up with the factory pop clips. Now the rest of these holes there's 13 of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way down. Those are actually gonna be self-tapping screws, so there's 13 of them that we can put. I'm not sure where I'm gonna be able to align double-sided tape, so I'm gonna put the pop clips in, align this, and see how it looks, and then adjust it from there. One pop clip that's gonna be used is this one. This is right at the underneath the fog light, and the other one that's gonna be used is this one back here, As you can see, it lines up pretty easy with the pop clips. And now, you know what? I probably am not even gonna bother with the tape. I think I'm just gonna put the screws in and see how it goes. I've decided I am gonna put tape. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the tape against this long portion of it. See how that goes.
I'm unscrewing that in. And I'm happy with that. I think that'll be, I think that'll be enough. With the pop clips on the side, pretty stiff. The tape in the middle, two pieces of tape and these screws, I think it'll be good. I don't have the best way to portray this, but you can see where the screws are, screws there, screws there. And you can see another screw there, screw there, three across the center, and on the opposite side as well. So pretty damn secure. The tape on this side should help as well, hopefully. Um, I don't see this going anywhere, but it's, you know, from my experiences on the AFD, lip. I wanted to try and do things a little bit differently. Overall, I think it looks really good. It really, the big benefit here is going to be when I lower the car. Yes, I am laying on the floor. My camera zooms in way too much. I, <laughs> I got to get a different lens. All right, before we continue, I want to bring attention to these spats. You can buy these spats off eBay. They're about a hundred bucks, but they're black. These are paint matched, also noble. They're very nice. They're pretty much exactly like what the OEM ones are. Now, look how thick these are, right? Now, I want to show you the cheap $15 ones that I got from eBay. And if any of you are thinking about doing this, this will pretty much set you on the right path because I saw somebody posted on the internet or on the Facebook group talking about, you know, they had bought these $15 ones. They're pretty good. Now, this, this is the set, okay? When you look at them side by side, you think, oh, well, what's the big deal? Well, let me show you. Look how thin that is. That is literally nothing. It is very flimsy. So much so that this one actually already broke in transit. And uh, the guy on eBay actually <laughs> sent me another one. There is a big difference between these two, okay? This is, even though this is probably hollow, this is a lot more solid than what this is. So obviously I decided not to do that because what I was going to do, I was going to sand these and paint them and this is what I was going to put on. But I decided that that just doesn't make sense. You know, here is one of those cases where you spend money once for something good. Here I spent money twice and they were garbage. So I would suggest to you, do not buy these from eBay. You'll thank me. So here is the problem with the rear spats. One section of the spat needs to go here. This bracket's going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem because obviously the plastic can't sit flush up against it if this bracket is here. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. And the next part, there's a screw that's apparently supposed to go here. But that can't happen because there's a pop clip here. So I have no idea what I'm doing with this. So I'm going to do some research slash engineering and see how it goes. So let me show you guys again exactly. So this is supposed to go here, right? So that makes sense. So I could I can make that work. This bracket, we could probably make this work. Um, this hole, I don't know what's gonna happen. This is gonna have to be drilled out to be bigger if we want the pop clip to work. And then in the back, we could just put a screw. So this is okay if this clip goes all the way through, which I don't know if it will. This is a really tiny clip. Yeah, that's not that's not going through. Oh wow, it it actually did. That's oh my goodness, that is surprising. Um, okay, that's not bad. So then I guess we'll just drill this out and maybe put a screw here. Maybe is there a hole enough for a screw? Let me go see. I didn't even see what the screws are that are coming. It comes it comes with the same uh, self tapping screws as the other pieces. This isn't gonna work because there's not enough meat back there. This looks like it's working. And this could work. No, that won't work. And this, this will work. So back here it works and on the front it works. The issue is gonna be these two. How am I gonna do that? See. So this pop clip will go all the way through. This screw will not. 
Man, this is going to be like a lot of modification. How to modify, though. This might be another candidate for double-sided tape, to be honest. Okay. Figure out what to do with that. So this wouldn't work. this is going. I may, act, yeah, I don't think that's going to work. So, let me see. Another solution to this. Let's get your pop clip go. hammer that in there. No, it might be too big too. Oh, there we go. There's the blood. I was waiting for it. Hmm. Let me try. I have two more clips. Let me try those. So I was able to use the pop clip from the radiator. So that actually worked out. Uh, this screw, I ended up putting in. There was no big deal. This I actually ended up putting it a little bit to the right. And as you can see, I had to make my own hole for it. Uh, but I mean, it's all these are now completely secured. This is not going anywhere. Now, let me show you what it looks like from the outside. Now, this is going to be the issue. From a distance, it's not a big deal. But up close, you will see that there is a little bit of a gap. Now, if you're looking from here, doesn't matter. You won't see it. But something to be aware of that if you have mud flaps, this is the issue you're going to run into. All right, both spats are done. To be honest, I really didn't expect them to be as difficult as they were. But again, something to remember that if you have, I probably say any kind of mud flaps you might run into this. It's hard to say for sure. Uh, these are the OEM mud flaps. These for sure were a problem. But now I'm glad to say that the car flows great front to back. Of course, it's a little dirty, but we'll ignore that. Well, I am surprised how long it took me to do all this. Um, <laughs> because I always run into random issues as you guys have seen in my installation videos. Overall, I think if you have the right tools and you know what you're doing, it's not that bad. Uh, it doesn't really take that long. Of course, the biggest issue was the, um, the mud flaps, which again, it's not something that everybody's going to run into. Love how the lip, <laughs> which is a nice lip, goes into the eBay side skirts, which goes into like the really nice um, rear spats. Now, color match, this is something that's really interesting because the color, f you can tell that it's white on white, but if you look at it real close, it's a slightly different white, but then again, the paint, <laughs> the paint that I did on, on here is also different. I think the shine of it makes it look a little bit different. It's hard to tell on camera, but I can see it in person, but overall, I, Dude, this is a tough one because I've got three different whites going. I've got that white, which is a little different. I've got that white, which is slightly different, and that white, which is different. And I guess a fourth one, which is that white, and that's different. But they're all white, and it doesn't... This is something that you're just going to have to look at when you get them. Uh, somebody actually made a post about the, the silvers and how all the silvers are a little bit different. But to me, it's not bad. I don't really mind it it being uh, slightly different, but that is something though. So if you're looking for an exact 100% paint match, I don't know if that's possible. Now also to be fair, this car is really dirty. I'm actually just noticing that. So I've already talked to Import Image Racing about what I'm gonna do with the front of the car. I do need to get some sort of brace or something because I don't like how just the random white's showing. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I'm t I think I'm actually gonna go with a red brace. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you think I should go with white or red. I know I've got the red piping on the in the hood and I was thinking red would be a nice contrast in the front. Uh, just kind of give it a mean look, but you guys tell me what you think. Overall, this was a fun little excursion. I'm glad to have been able to upgrade to this different lip because even as you saw when I was able to pull the jack from underneath the car, it was a lot easier 
than when I had the AFD lip. Again, no offense to that one, it just, it depends on who you are and what you're looking to do with the car because that's really gonna dictate which of these parts you go with. I think for me, this is better. Um, the coilovers will be here next week, I believe, and I will be doing that, whole, like the whole installation is gonna be happening at home and I'm probably also gonna be doing the alignment at home. So that's something I've never done before, coils I've never installed. Um, so you guys are gonna come along on this journey. Uh, thank you so much to Import Image Racing for getting me these parts. They're very, very nice. Um, I look forward to just driving around and seeing if people notice. Uh, I know there's actually one white VB that's one exit down for me and people actually keep confusing us. So another way to kind of stand out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.